Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Kyle, this is Kaizen DIY Gym. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your rack into a DIY Smith machine. Okay, so it's not exactly a Smith machine, but it has the potential to provide a lot of the same stabilization without the footprint. Before I show you how to make it, I have to give credit to Luke Ellis, who's been doing this with UHMW for years. Julia Anto was doing it without any protection on the rack at all. And the legend, John Meadows, of course, did his cage presses. So there's definitely a rich history. Now I'll show you my version. Safety first. DIY projects are awesome, but being safe is even more awesome. First off, I'm using HDPE instead of UHMW because it's a lot easier to work with. It cuts like wood and you can use all your standard woodworking tools. I found my HDPE on eBay and measures six inches by 27 inches, which means I only had to make one cut. My table saw is currently buried, so I use my circular saw to rip it in half. My rack has one inch holes, so I take a one inch dowel and cut it into four, four inch pieces. If your rack has five eighths inch holes or three quarter inch holes, you can use hitch pins like this. Using my rack hole spacing as a guide, I mark where the dowels need to go. I use an eighth inch drill bit to drill a pilot hole. Then I use a one inch Forstner bit, but I only go in about an eighth of an inch deep. Flip it over and use a countersink bit to make room for the screw head. Now repeat that process three more times. After I'm finished drilling all those holes into the HDPE, I grab a dowel, I line it up and drill a pilot hole. This ensures the screw will go in without splitting the dowel. Putting the screw in is a little tricky, so I grab the dowel and tighten the screw. Repeat until they're all snug. For a little added security, you can drill a hole in each dowel to add a pin. Boom, I'm done. So I posted this and someone mentioned how hack squats are generally done at a 45 degree angle. This made me realize I could put the HDPE on my jammer arms instead of my rack uprights and set them at different angles with the Vendetta attachment. This works extremely well and I'm able to get a lot of variety out of this one simple add-on. But what about people who don't own a Mars bar? I borrowed an idea from my buddy Peej over at Design Build Lift, who was using PVC on his bar to do cage presses. I used PVC to cover the knurling on my Echo Bar and it works great. Not only does it give the stability of a Smith machine, but I can change the angle and the height of the arms. I decided to go through all my specialty bars and test out which ones work. The Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis is pretty perfect for this application. No knurling where it sits on the HDPE, it stays on the rack, and the arch helps achieve full range of motion. The Titan Rackable Trap Bar is interesting. I do sort of an inclined neutral grip overhead press, but it doesn't work for anything else. I really like this Bells of Steel Rackable Trap Bar for close grip presses, but my absolute favorite was this chest supported row. A handful of people encouraged me to try leg presses with it. I tried and that was a little sketchy. I might keep tinkering with it to see if I can figure it out, but for now, I wouldn't recommend it. While I was at Home Gym Con, Patrick from Bridgebuilt gave me a gift. It's essentially their version of the same thing as requested by a customer. They made a small batch, but ultimately decided not to pursue it as a product. So I've got these limited edition bulletproof strips. So sweet. I'm sure there are many more exercises to do with this and I'm just starting my exploration. If you build it, tag me in some videos and let me see what you're doing. I'm really curious to see what else we can do with this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.